for a fantastic 2021 campaign, the FIA European Truck Racing Championship makes its return for 2022 in a big and bold way with a new title partner and a wonderful array of different drivers and teams trying to take their very own shot at the title in their five-ton racing machines. We start the championship where we finished 2021 at Misano World Circuit Marco Simoncelli and one of the drivers committing to a full campaign is 2021 Goodyear Cup runner-up Teo Calve. Yeah, for me, uh, me it's my second time in Misano. Uh, I really like the, tra the track. L uh, last year uh, it was uh, a really nice weekend for me, so let's see. But I hope uh, I want to fight for the top six this year. And uh, I, think, I think we can uh, also win the team championship, we'll fight for and also the Grammar Cup. We are very glad to be back. I mean, we ended the season last year here in Misano. We are starting here in Misano with great weather. The atmosphere is good, the mood is good. Uh, so everybody is well prepared. But especially, we are starting into a new era with the Goodyear FIE TRC, the Goodyear FI European Truck Racing Championship. We could uh, really secure with our long term partner Goodyear the title partnership, which is really good that such a prestigious and uh, global brand is investing and believing into the truck racing. Yeah, the, the, the winter break was going very quickly and we are here like we never left because we finished last season in Misano. So it's a little bit um, interesting feeling to start the season where we finished it last year. But yeah, looking forward for the season, we prepared a lot, we fine-tuned the racetrack uh, in quite a lot of parts, which we think is important, and um, I am definitely sure that we are faster than last year, <laughs> so it should be interesting, and, I, I, and, and you know, obviously the aim is uh, to keep winning and, uh, and try to defend the championship title. Hi Jochen, just a quick impression ahead of race one. It was so close during Super Bowl, just 0.051 seconds behind Norbert Kisch. So you're hard on the brakes right now. Yeah, you know, this is the race, the first race weekend in the year. So it's now the earth qualifying it's done. So, but now it's coming the first race and nobody knows the performance from Nobby or for me. So this is, it's very, tricky in the end, but we will fight for sure. I, I hope we, we fight for the winning. For the first race of the season then, it would be Norbert Kirsch alongside Jochen Hahn. Nine titles between the two of them on the front row of the grid with Antonio Albacete and Adam Lachko right behind. It was a clean start from everybody, Norbert holding on to his lead in the opening laps. Everybody would make it through safely, but then the battles would start to begin. Not quite up front though, as Norbert Kirsch and Jochen Hahn would break away in flying formation with Sasha Lenz, in third place ahead of Adam Lachko, Anthony Janiak and Antonio Albacete. Antonio would eventually get past Janiak and set about chasing down the Freightliner, the Bagheera ZM racing Freightliner of Adam Lachko. There was a massive train behind Teo Calve as everybody was queuing up to try and have a go. And further up at the front of the field, Antonio really started to launch his attack on the back of the number 55 machine. Eventually, coming down into turn eight, he would launch said attack harder than ever. Contact between the two of them, and then more and more contact as they made their way up the hill to turns nine and 10. Really elbows out stuff at the start of the season. 
Teo Calve though held on ahead of Steffi Halm with Rene Reiner behind. Andre Kurzim and Shane Brereton would have their own battle in the middle of the field. Shane would try absolutely everything he could to get past the number 11 machine and eventually we would see him move past down the back straight into turn 8. Antonio finally got past Adam Lachko after yet more contact while Teo Calve continued to hold the huge, huge train behind showing off some fantastic defending. Norbert Kish disappeared up the road while Adam Lachko started to limp around towards the end of the race, maybe some damage on his truck in the latter stages. But as per usual, it was a beautiful drive by Norbert Kish and his fans waited to see the inevitable. He takes the first race win of the season from Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz, a podium that we saw many a time in 2021. Teo Calve would just hold on ahead of Steffi Halm, Rene Reiner and Shane Brereton and with it take a win in the Promoters Cup, the first win in the category for the season. So you said you're going to be fast. How did you manage to get some space between you and Jochen Hahn? Well, it was, um, it was difficult actually because yeah, also in the qualifying it was very tight and Johan is very fast on the first lap, on the second lap, on the third lap and he was very close to me. Uh, but I guess he used up his tires a little bit more and then he started to fall uh, back a little bit. Um, and, then, um, and then I see he's not, not really a threat anymore. And I guess he was saving his tires as well a little bit. And uh, in the end, I, I didn't push 100% as well in the last two, three laps or something. So yeah, I guess it was a bad tire usage. The first silverware and spoils of the season then to Norbert Kish, Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz. Norbert Kish takes the first win of the championship by just over five seconds to Jochen Hahn with Sasha Lenz 10 seconds off the race winner. A bit of a lonely race for the German in the end. Antonio Albertetti finished fourth after his battle with Adam Lachko, who was classified fifth. His teammate Teo Calve finishes sixth, winning the Promoters' Cup for the first time this season. Steffi Halm, Rene Reiner, Shane Brayton and Thomas Robineau round out your top ten. Thomas getting a podium in the Promoters' Cup on his first try this year. Jose Rodriguez would finish 11th ahead of Brit Jamie Anderson with Stefan Fast 13th. Anthony Janiek would drop down into 14th place. Andre Kurzim 15th. And Clemens Hecker would retire with one lap to go in the race in his new Scania. the race and complete so about the best of the promoters cup congratulations how was the race yeah thanks uh, it was honestly difficult difficult race for me uh, I, st I struggle a lot with the truck uh, it was really not easy to drive uh, we try some modification uh, all of those things but it's really difficult to to stay on the on the good way so yeah I had to defend a lot uh, this race I finished uh, six so it's which is a good result and uh, first in Promoters Cup, the first one of the season, I'm really happy and I hope uh, I will have more like this. <laughs> The top four in race two would be Rene Reiner, Steffi Halm, Teo Calve and Adam Lachko. The two Bagheera ZM racing machines on the second row of the grid looking to score good points for the team's championship. A poor start though for Steffi Halm would drop her right down the order and add to the mix some contact with Teo Calve and she would be right in the thick of it part way around the lap. 
Things didn't get any better after this move by Norbert Kish down the inside made it three into one. And we all know that doesn't go in race cars, let alone racing machines like these. And Jochen Hahn came off worst out of the three. Norbert Kish didn't receive much damage from it, though, and he then went chasing after 2021 championship rival Sasha Lenz, who, well, it's safe to say, was feeling the pressure at certain points. Jochen Hahn was also working hard to get past Theo Calve, while Calve's teammate, Adam Lachko, was working hard to get past René Reiner for the race lead. The two would make big contact, though, and while the field remained bunched together, Adam Lachko would drop down with pieces of his truck falling off all over the place. Antonio Albacete was perfectly placed to take the lead from this point onwards, his own manoeuvre, making sure he got past René Reiner, with Sasha Lenz coming behind, while Norbert Kish and Jochen Hahn then unleashed their own attack on the number 77 machine. It took them quite a while to get through, and that was definitely not for lack of trying. Jochen Hahn sort of shoving Norbert Kish to say, I wanted to go, let me try it first, Sunshine. Great to see these two titans of the series once again going head-to-head -head on track. Try as they might, though, René Reiner put up one hell of a defence. And this little bit of argy-bargy into turn eight certainly looked like it had sealed the deal. But Norbert Kish kept his foot in it, kept the nose down the inside and managed to get through while a free invitation went the way of Jochen Hahn. After all of it, though, Antonio Albatetti would take his first win since Zolder 2019, ahead of Sasha Lenz, Norbert Kish and Jochen Hahn. René Reiner, after a fantastic defensive race, finishing in fifth position. But the star of the day and the star of the afternoon was Antonio Albatetti and his very happy T-Sport Bernau team. Congratulations, first win this season, race two, and it's been a while since you won a race, I must admit that, but you had so many successes. It was your 107 win in total. Congratulations to that. How did you manage that? Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a long time with, uh, without a win, so uh, it's very good. I mean, it's uh, the reverse grid uh, race, but for me it's like the, the normal race, you know, so it's, it's quite good. I mean, very happy for the team. They did a really good job. They were very, very hard, you know, and the drag has been going very, very good. So, yeah, I mean, I was a little bit lucky that uh, nothing happens on the start. You know, I have no troubles. So, very happy with this win, for sure, yeah. And it certainly had been a long time since we'd seen him up there, but smiles all round from Antonio Albacete and all of his other competitors in the championship. It was a very popular victory indeed. He takes the win by just under a second from Sasha Lenz, who kept him honest until the very final moments. Norbert Kirsch gets another podium with Jochen Hahn and René Reiner just behind rounding out the top five. Steffi Halm was sixth ahead of Andre Kurzim, with Anthony Janiak in eighth. Shane Brayton wins the Promoters' Cup in ninth, and Stefan Fass rounds out the top ten, second in his respective class. Theo Calve fell down to 11th position after a penalty due to the contact with Steffi Halm. He finishes ahead of Jamie Anderson, Jose Rodriguez and Thomas Robineau is the last truck classified. Before we knew it though, that was the end of Saturday's action, but after a fantastic first day at Mizano, we were really hungry for more on the following Sunday. Let's talk to Jochen Hahn there. Where do you see the possibilities to overtake 
uh, quiche, for example. Is there a possibility in some special turn? Uh, yesterday, in the, the first race, it's no change to overtake, so, okay. <coughs> first of all, stop. Second of all, today I must handle my tyre performance a little bit better, so maybe in the end. Okay, in the beginning or in the end, we will see. For the third race of the weekend, it would be the same front row as we had on Saturday. Norbert Kish grabbing pole position from Jochen Hahn, but Sasha Lenz much improving on his qualifying for the second day of racing by getting third on the grid. It was a very, very packed start into turns one, two and three, but Norbert Kish would hold on and close the door on Jochen Hahn while he tried to make sure that nobody else could come through, i.e. Sasha Lenz. Early on, though, it was Norbert Kiesch from Jochen Hahn, Sasha Lenz, Adam Lachko and Antonio Albathetti. A very, very familiar top five at the front of the pack. Behind, Stefan Fass made a move on Jamie Anderson while Anthony Janiek would launch his attack on René Reiner. At the very back of the field, though, Jamie Anderson collected Shane Brereton at the final corner of the circuit after a big, big mistake onto the brakes going into the tight right-hander. Both of them would continue, but Anderson would get a penalty. Luckily, marshals were on hand to remove the debris quickly and safely. That meant then that Anthony Janiek could continue his attack behind René Reiner. Norbert Kish continued to hold a very, very important lead, though, as Jochen Hahn tried to stay with him in the mid part of the race. Theo Calve, in the mid part of the pack, was still leading the Promoters' Cup. He had Jose Rodriguez for company, though, and he wasn't going to let him out of his sights. Great to see Rodriguez going well. Janjic eventually managed to get past after René Reiner, but that then meant that Stefan Fass could launch his attack instead. René's truck looking a little bit second-hand after some earlier contact. It was a very similar story, though, in race three. Much like race one yesterday, Norbert Kish leads the race and Antonio Albacete is all over the back of Adam Lachko. The two of them would battle lap after lap, Antonio not giving up at a single point of the circuit, and eventually it would pay off as he got past down the straight towards the final part of the circuit. Margins were very, very small, though. Norbert Kish would take another very, very impressive win ahead of Jochen Hahn, Sasha Lenz, Antonio Albacete and Adam Lachko. The exact same top five as we had on Saturday. It was a very happy Norbert Kish though, and some very happy fans to celebrate his win with him. It was a good race, I had a good start and a good first sector, but then on the second sector Johan attacked a little bit, and I defended, you know, closed the door, prepared and kept my first position. And um, yeah, from then on, I was a little bit faster, you know, could gain a little bit of a gap and uh, and be out in front, you know. So it was it was nice, you know. I, I'm happy with today because we, I think we made definitely a step forward from yesterday, um, especially the the one lap pace, you know, in the qualifying. Um, and also the race pace was nice, you know, so I'm happy and uh, very thankful for the team and uh, Ravis Racing because, yeah, they are doing a really, really good job. Norbert Kish was looking good in the championship after two out of three race victories. And certainly the way that he wanted to start his campaign with a win in race one and race three, often the races that are won on merit over these race weekends in this sort of format. He took his second win of the weekend by just under five seconds from Jochen Hahn. Sasha Lenz took another podium after a difficult final few laps in the race where he lost gears. Antonio Albacete and Adam Lachko finish fourth and fifth. Steffi Halm sixth ahead of Andre Kurzim. Theo Calve wins the Promoters' Cup ahead of Jose Rodriguez. And Anthony Janiak rounds out your top ten.
11th place went the way of Rene Reiner. Stefan Fass would finish in 12th ahead of Thomas Robineau. It was a poor race for the Brits with Jamie Anderson 14th and Shane Brereton 15th. And Clemens Hecker was one and a half minutes down after a penalty in 16th place. Once again, though, the teams would be hard at work with a very, very quick turnaround ahead of race four, the final race of the weekend here at Mizano. The top four for the final race of the weekend would be Teo Calve, Andre Kersim, Steffi Halm and Adam Lachko. Steffi and Teo both looking for a much better second race than they had yesterday. But drama off the start, straight off the bat. Andre Kersim's throttle had an issue and Adam Lachko clattered into the back of him and the field had to bunch up into the first couple of corners. Further contact between Albathetti, Lachko and Norbert Kish would really overshadow the incredible start that we saw by Sasha Lenz. He managed to get from P6 to P3 by turn one, and then at the end of the lap, he was going to be leading the race. But you'll see how that happens in just a moment. Norbert Kish battled to remain with the pack, despite having big damage on the right rear wheel of his MAN. Teo Calve continued to lead the field, but coming into the final couple of corners, turns 13 and 14, he'd go in a little bit too hot in the Freightliner, the pressure getting to the young Frenchman. Avoiding the penalty markers around the outside, he would get overtaken by Sasha Lenz, who would be in the lead before the end of the very first lap. Amazing stuff. Steffi Halm and Adam Lachko would try and pile in behind, and it looked like we'd had some sort of restart over the line at the start of lap two. Jamie Anderson and Rene Ryan are getting very friendly in the background. Teo tried to get his lead back, but the German Sasha Lenz would hold on and stay firm. Rene Reiner and Norby Kish were having more battles like they did in the third race of the weekend, but Norbert's damage was really starting to show. Eventually, a couple of laps later, Reiner was through and Shane Brereton launched his attack. Not really much the Hungarian reigning champion could do with that right rear wheel in very, very bad way. The field completed their latter stages with our beautiful drone shots to hand, but it would be a fantastic victory, in style of course, by Sasha Lenz. His first win of the season, and it came with an incredible drive through the pack in the opening stages. Antonio Albacete and Jochen Hahn would round out the podium. The old guys back on the top three steps. But Sasha Lenz was greeted by a very happy SL Truck Sport 30 team. Congratulations. We talked earlier on and we were talking about how you need to change the clutch. Um, it was better driving than the truck with a functioning clutch, wasn't it? Yeah, auf jeden Fall. Also hat jetzt alles funktioniert. Ein Lob an meine Crew, die haben super Arbeit geleistet ganz Wochenende. Yeah, it was definitely better driving the truck with a functioning clutch. Everything worked out nicely. Of course, as always, thanks to my team. We had a very, very good start. I passed Teo in the first lap. Steffi had some issues as well. And I just took benefit of the situation and drove the race continuously at a proper pace so that Norby and Jochen could not catch up. And in the end, it all worked out. So Sasha Lenz takes his first win of the season with fantastic company joining him on the podium. Antonio Albacete rounds out a great weekend with a second place and Jochen Hahn adds another impressive podium to his already massive score. Sasha Lenz then wins by over seven and a half seconds to the Spanish legend himself, Antonio Albacete. Jochen Hahn third ahead of Teo Calve, once again showing just how quick he is with a win in the Promoters' Cup. Steffi Halm was fifth ahead of Anthony Janiak and Rene Reiner. Shane Brayton gets a good result after starting right near the back of the grid. Norbert Kish was ninth and Jamie Anderson was 10th. But Rene Reiner would have a penalty applied, which would drop him down into ninth position. Brayton and Kiss promoted to 7th and 8th. Clemens Hecker finishes 11th ahead of Thomas Robineau and Jose Rodriguez in one of the most attritional races of the weekend, losing three further drivers. But before we knew it, the weekend had come to a close and the first round of the championship was done. But we could very much look forward to the Hungara ring in three weeks' time. We'll see you there.